like one of those jobs I've been meaning to do for a while. Um, right now, our leisure alternator is not connected up to our leisure batteries. So, what does that mean? Um, most of you know, but it, what it means is when we're cruising or our engine's running, that alternator's not doing anything, our batteries aren't getting anything. So, um, I've got an alternator to battery charger to fit. Basically, that sits between the alternator and the batteries, which we'll go through in a bit. Um, I've got to move the starter battery over because that, that area there is for the chlorifier. So there's a bit to work to do there and I've got to bolt the charger up XYZ. So um, yeah, a little bit of work to do in the engine bay. So let me flip you around so you can see what I mean. So ignore all this debris. Um, our, our chlorifier is going to sit in that frame, which would normally be for batteries, but as you well know, my batteries are somewhere else. That battery is coming out, uh, or being moved, shall we say. I might hop it to there and build another battery box for it because the isolator's there and everything there. Um, I've got to wire that in temporarily because hung over that drainage pipe isn't permanent. So this is our uh, leisure alternator for our leisure batteries. This little one here is for the starter battery, so that gets topped up. And you can see on the beaters, it's already wired. This is the output 12 volts from the alternator. And it goes down to, if you can see those, let me see if I can get you in there. It goes to these studs that are on the engine chassis, or engine frame, shall we say. So there's the positive to that battery. You can see the lug there that comes off it. And behind it, um, I don't know if you can see that, that's the negative stood there for the engine. So, uh, negative's got to come back to here. Positive there, up through the, up through the, um, yeah, positive from there. Up through the A to B charger, and then off to the uh, leisure batteries. So yeah, that's that's what I'm looking at just, uh, just doing now. So, a little bit to that, as we will, as you'll find out. But wh wh why am I fitting a, why am I fitting an A to B alternated battery charger? Well, basically, it charges my batteries faster, up to five times faster. Um, an alternator is quite a dumb piece of equipment. It's only really made to, or designed ever to, put charge back into a starter battery. That that's all they're for. Um, and when you start to look at charging more sophisticated battery banks, then you really want to be looking at three-stage charging, not just a dumb alternator looking after your very, very expensive battery bank. So that's why we're fitting the A to B. Um, in this case, I'm going to fit the Sterling A to B. Um, because I have one. <laughs> uh, uh, but it's a good off. I, I, I fit a Sterling A to B on a boat over there just the other day. So what do they do? Yep, yeah, they, they tell, not really. Uh, the alternator give me give me what you've got let me handle the charging so that that's basically what happens and then it starts to rain so <coughs> couldn't make it up big dirty cloud above the deck board's going back down i'm not doing that right this second so here's that uh a to b so let me just run you through some of the the stuff on the front. So it's you can it's an AB12160, which means a 12 volt up to 160 amp alternator. So how do we wire it? Um, this goes to any negative. Okay. Then you've got the main alternator input. So that big fat cable off the alternator goes into there. Uh, I'm going to leave that for a second. This one goes to your domestic batteries, your leisure batteries, and this one can go to the engine starter. So these are really useful if you've just got one alternator. This this will recharge your engine starter battery, which is it says they're non-amplified, so that's just the alternator sort of straight through. 
this one is an amplified circuit which means you get that full um it's it's three step really but there is a conditioning step as well so uh, bulk absorption float this one here to your domestics is is the the controlled circuit if that makes sense okay you can also fit um i don't have those actually i should have asked dell about those i can order them anyway yeah i bought this off dell because he wasn't using it anymore because he's gone lithium um i think i actually have so that one of the important ones really is this one here the um alternator temperature sensor because uh that one there so what that does that's a little temperature sensor that goes onto the alternator and if your alternator is going too hot it will it will back off a little bit let the alternator cool down and then restart charging again so the alternator temperature is 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 really quite important battery temperature yeah not so much but yes um so i, I should definitely fit that uh, alternator temp sensor there okay that show wasn't as bad as i thought it was going to be so let's have a look at getting this a to b installed so i'm just using uh self-drilling tapping screws The awkward ones are the uh, bottom ones. Right, I'm going to put those other screws in then and uh, then I can look at the wiring up part of it and take you through that. That's it. Good thing about putting it on the bulkhead there, it helps with the cooling of the unit as well. But what I should do is get some thin aluminium plate and just make a, um, like a, a just a cover, like a drip cover. Uh, just in case this was to fill up of leaves or something and overflow um, then, then that will protect that uh, that unit. So I'll just fix it on those two fixings that I've mounted that with. It is. <coughs> That's the easy bit. <laughs> just mounting it there. So uh, now I'll start looking at the wiring. So yeah, apologies. I was just looking at this a little bit close, more closely. Um, you can see here a bit better. This is actually, I couldn't see from where I was. This is the negative stud, and uh, th that one there is the positive. So basically, yeah, that stud, sorry, I'm, I'm bouncing around a little bit. That stud there goes up to that alternator. So what's the point? Um, don't you see me there? Where should we go? There. What's the point in putting a cable onto there for it to run around the engine and stuff and I'll just disconnect it and put it straight on the A to B? And that's exactly what I'm going to do. But I want to do that. Well, no point putting another end of the cable in, if that's long enough, which it looks like it is. And um, reduce copper losses as well, reduce resistance, reduce heat, reduce losses in the copper. So I may as well just use the cable I've got. It makes more sense. Okay, we'll change your plan. So um, 
Santa's been. We're well, not, <laughs> not exactly. Um, we've got our diesel remote diesel tank for the diesel stove that landed yesterday. Uh, that's got to be um, obviously fixed in, painted. I've got to drill and tap and all sorts of stuff. Uh, put filters on, uh, isolating tap, all that kind of stuff for that for that to go in properly. So that might be um, a slightly later date. Uh, probably Raptor that. Raptor. Do you know what Raptor is? Uh, Raptor paint is um, bed liner paint so that it was originally used for f uh, flatbed trucks and stuff. Uh, we've got some of it on our van on the lower part. It's incredibly hard, two-pack paint. Um, slightly textured. It's very hard, very hard wearing. So I'm, I'm going to wrap to paint that. And the big blue thing, um, I don't know if you can see that. The big blue thing is our chlorifier. So that is really what I'm going to get on with today. Try and get some, uh, let's walk in the boat a little bit. Try and get some uh, hot water. Uh, that, 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 well, that's just wash that light clean out. Um, try and get some hot water uh, in the boat. So... I've got to find the location, well, no location, but I've got to see how I'm going to fix that in um, and get all the pipe work to it. It's a Surecal chlorifier. Right, let's take you through this chlorifier. Morning, Franny. Morning. Where are you off to? Addresses. I'll get myself in the engine bay, shall I? You shall. Something wrong here. <laughs> well, I can't, I'll go to the addresses. Uh, and hunters on. I've got me, but yeah, so Fern's having her hair done, ready for Jesse's wedding, my daughter's wedding next weekend so i've got to have me i've got to have a little bit of a trim here and there i don't know why i think i look perfectly okay but anyway right this chlorifier i've just brought in the boat a little bit just to show you guys what's a chlorifier so it's some of you will know some of you might not it's um it's where we store create our hot water on a boat generally because we don't have uh instantaneous boilers and we don't have generally we don't have uh immersion heated tanks not 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 as such although this is similar so anyway let's take you through this so this is a 55 liter Surecal uh brain fade chlorifier um and um it, it it basically heats water or will heat water several different ways so the first one in the middle is blindingly obvious electrically this is just a one kilowatt heater so it won't heat up very quick um but it's, it's only going to pull four amps so you can happily use that on shore power and power the rest of your boat and stuff so they tend to be one or two kilowatt these so that'll take a while to heat that up but um you only use that when you're plugged into shore power so what do we have we have um cold water in in here and we have hot water out and this is a pressure relief valve because if you don't have a pressure relief valve it, as if this was to build pressure you've got a bit of a bomb on your hands which is no good so that's a pressure relief valve there this is a, a mixer to allow you to to regulate the temperature of the hot water um and, and that, that there's a thermostat in there too but the reason you have this is these are the four these are the four fittings here these are, this is called a twin coil chlorifier. So inside there are two, two copper coils and they come out on two, two pairs of outlets. Um, so one of those, so if, imagine if you pump hot water in there, it will transfer heat from the coil into the water that's in the tank. They don't mix, but that, 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 the, the hot water running around the coil heats the water in the tank. One of them will be for the engine. So when you're running the engine, the cooling water from the engine runs around that circuit and heats your water. So you've got electrically, you've got through your engine. The other one is your central heating, Webasto, um, diesel stove, log burner with a back boiler, that kind of thing, that when that hot water is circulating, that also gives you a tank full of hot water. So in a nutshell, that's what a chlorifier is. Um, it's 55 litre, this one, which I've probably said, Surecal, just 500 quid's worth. Hmm. Well, about 560, I think. Um, yeah, so that I'm gonna go and try that for size and see how far, far I get put in there. And there is a few other bits and pieces I need, like an, ex an expansion vessel um, for the for 
as the water heats, it gets bigger. So that you, you need an expansion vessel for some way for it to go. Otherwise, it'll just keep blowing off. Um, on <laughs> Oi! <laughs> it'll keep blowing off pressure and you're losing water all the time. So that's no good. So uh, you, I'm going to have to put an expansion vessel on there as well. Yes, that's what a chlorifier is. This is a horizontal one. So this one will lie down flat in the engine bay. So let's go and take it in there and see if I can put it in there. I'll get all the good jobs, me. Well, you'd think I'd measured that. Uh, yes, I think, I think I'm going to put a wood tray in there for that to sit on. And then strap it, I'll probably put a couple of screws in the wood base. I'll go into what I've got. Yeah, just a little filling job. Um, we had our drawings come back from the, uh, from Worktop Express. Um, cause you have to like sort of, um, Check the draw in to make sure that's all okay before you give them green light then there's no turning back i just had to make a slight adjustment here just 10 mil difference the angle wasn't quite right when i laid it all out properly so that's done that's the way to be modified again now um should get those back today those drawings then i can give them the green light and away you go away we go or the way they go to make the worktops so two worktops for the kitchen and also a worktop for the vanity unit that we're making in the bathroom. Happy days. Right, back to the chlorifier. Oh, it's a bit early, it's only about 10 o'clock. <laughs> um, I've, I've got some timber. Uh, this is pressure treated timber as well, so it'll be fine. Just gonna make a couple of pieces of, um, just cut a couple of pieces so that'll sit under the chlorifier, sit in that space. And then um, when that's all settled down, I'll sort of ratchet in place so it can't go anywhere. So I'll cut these, put that on there. Sounds like a plan. Oh yeah, uh, Penny's coming today to fetch all their, uh, what are they called, um, dinette cushions and stuff, so they're getting being covered. So that'd be another step forward today. We're looking good. I right, get that chlorifier back out, so I can bolt it to these things. So there's the, it's sat in the old battery, well, the old, the battery that was the battery tray. With 55 litres of water in there, that ain't going anywhere. So I'm just now starting to pipe up the chlorifier itself. Um, this is the, cent uh, the central heating one here, and the bottom one here will be the uh, engine heating. You're just going to stand there looking pretty and in the sun? 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. I want to come back as a girl. <laughs> you cheeky bugger. Ah, uh, what are you at? <laughs> what did you just say then? <laughs> cheeky bugger. <laughs> Let's see if I can get some hot water coming out of the hot taps. Wouldn't that be an achievement? Uh, right. So I'm just going to... Like a few things in this engine bay, it's all work in progress. These shoe, these shoe are cal uh, chlorifiers. I won't put it on hotter than hot. Um, the thermostat, which is nothing sort of unusual, it actually plugs directly into the heater elements. So the heater elements uh, uh, got little spades on them. So this just pushes straight in. Right, last thing I'm going to do today is connect up the engine coolant hoses. Now I've swapped over those those fittings. Oh yeah, there, oh, there is. is. Definitely now. Yeah. Well, oh, that's really quite hot now. That's really hot now, that yeah. is. Yeah, it's getting hotter. Oh yeah. Hotter? Hotter, hotter. Oh, no, hotter. Hotter. Hotter, that's what I'm... <laughs> that's hot, is it? Yeah. Cool. It works. Still plenty to do. Another job. Yeah, it's getting hotter. Yeah. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? I'm doing the under gunnels. The under gunnels? The trims, painting them, prepping them. Let's turn the radio. Prepping them. Prepping them, painting them. Yeah, why are you doing that? So we get them off the floor and you can put them on. <laughs> I hate that job. I know you do. I've do done some. I've done four already. Yeah. And I've also painted the bathroom. First coat on the bathroom walls. Yeah. Yeah, yeah good. Oh yeah, we'll get to that in a bit. We, so, the I'm, on it, I'm on it this morning. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're just getting ready to do that because we've got some oak trim coming in with for in here. Yeah. Me, on the other hand, I'm just tidying, um, no, I'm just putting some uh, boarding in the back by that chlorifier uh, to clip the pipes to, so I'm doing that. Little A little snippet of a, of a, fr a franism this morning, shall we? Are we sharing this with our, our lovely friends on Tinterweb? What have I done? So, you've already seen the struggle I had yesterday, getting all that old water done. Tank, tank full of hot water. <laughs> oh, I know what you're going to say now. <laughs> so what did you do this morning? I washed up. Yeah, there's more to it than that. I washed up. I don't use the hot water, I boiled the kettle. Boiled the kettle. <laughs> hot <laughs> water. <laughs> yeah, it's just habit, isn't it? Yeah. Habit we need to get out of, but uh, there you go. So, right, I'm going to crack on with that. <laughs> you're going to crack on with this. I am. I'm getting there. Yeah, I don't feel lucky today, but uh, I'm going to try and push through that a little well, I'm bit. I'm all right today. I'm, I'm on it. Yeah, well, I'm on I've, been it this morning. I've been working on boats all week, so I get fed up of it. Yeah. 
Um, okay, so I'm going to get that support in and uh, see if I can get... I'm seeing these gyms on the floor. Yeah, me. I'll just dollar fitting them. It's one of them jobs that you never see, you know. I struggle with jobs like that. Like most of the stuff on the boat. Right, let's go and get this, uh, these pipes tidied up. And I'll be back there. They'll all be dry by then, won't they? Well, they've been dry already. Yeah, I'm not, I want to get that finished first. I mean, some of these are in there anyway, isn't there? I think. Well, some will be, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's go get these uh, pipes tidied up and uh, I'll go back in and do this. Right, here I am again. Back in my natural habitat. Right, so yesterday when I was getting these these pipes in, I sort of uh, tie wrap them just to hold them somewhere. And uh, with, with the intention of putting some buffalo board uh, to clip them to, so these should hop out of here okay. That makes sense. So I've just cut a piece of buffalo board here, which I'm hoping oh, I sat on the engine on the comfy chair again. I'm hoping. Well, of course it will. That uh, bit of buffalo board there. Happy with that. If I get my uh, screwdriver and get some of these clips on. So I've got no uh, 15 mil pipe clips left. That's a whole bag of those just for. Oh well, I probably need some somewhere else. Right, um, I need to go and do something else. Then I have just moved that A to B. Make room for the robusto. I've got a little bit of stuff to do with the battery and that in here, so my work in the engine bay for today is complete. So let's go and do something else. I wonder what that could be. Mm. I've filmed all of this, clearly. Yeah. I'm talking to our friends. Oh. Um, we just we just bit the bullet, biting the bullet, and getting all those under gunnel pieces of wood underneath. Fans painted them this morning. I've seen. Um, I really did a job I didn't want to do because you can't see it. So, not a lot of excitement there. Got to be done. It's got to be done, yeah. We've got that trim coming, so um, that's why we're doing it. And of course, our worktop's probably a couple of weeks away. Where am I? I'm here. Where's the thing? There. Oh. <laughs> Where you're pulling? Who's there? Look what I'm doing. Look. How exciting! That was one of your top tips. I know, that was my <laughs> So, yeah, we're just putting that in. Um, that's probably enough for this video, I think. Um, we've been, I've been bouncing around a little bit. We have got a hot water, obviously, if you've seen. 25 things to do, and uh, we're just doing a bit of all everything. So, probably going to call it a day of uh, clean up and tidy up and stuff. Um, and Fran, Fran's going to do a scores on the doors, isn't you? Yeah. My God, that's gone up. It has gone up. It has Could gone up. One door. <laughs> yeah, well, I think, I think, um, well, you've seen a minute, but we're up to 85k. Or yeah. well, we will be, we will be for sure, once we've bought a few other bits and pieces, but 85k, jeez. Um, we haven't finished yet. And we finished yet, but that will be a lot of it, we hope, when, when it's so... Right, I'll get this gunnels done. Uh, you don't need to see that, it's just screwing wood in. Uh, but it's one of them things that's got to be done in it for that trim yeah. underneath. Uh, and then uh, over to Franny with scores on the doors. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here we go. Our last uh, total was 19.383 and since then this is what we've uh, bought. So we've got the, the worktops at 11.50. 
I've ordered the oven, which was 520. Glorifier. Uh, oak trim. Paint. We've had the dinette covers, which we've got to pay for when they come back. Um, the gas installation, which will be for the oven and the hob. Uh, Martin bought some more fenders and ropes and fair leads. Uh, we've had our mattress, which is a bloody godsend. And it's but expensive. <laughs> but expensive. Yeah, we've ordered our bathroom sink, which hasn't arrived yet. And obviously our kitchen tap, which you installed. So as you can see, it's getting big, the number. We're at £23,653. Ouch. It's I was ouch. thinking this is starting to look like the opening scene of Star Wars, this yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and again... Uh, I, again, we um, ain't finished yet, really, have we? No, so there's still some there's left still to do. still bits to do. Uh, the hours is totting up as well. Yeah. We look, we're starting to look get close to... A, well, it is a thousand hours. Yeah. I, I just noticed that, actually. It is just over a thousand hours. Um, build time, so... Yeah. But yeah, that's but yeah, the Yeah, the big numbers. I don't think we've got much... Well, I suppose shower and... The bathroom, we reckon it'll be a grand. There's a grand right? in the bathroom. Yeah, it's yeah. tiles and whatever. We've getting a we're getting quote. a quote for the A-frame as well on the front. We ain't gonna be able to afford the cover, but if we can get the A-frame done, I think we will. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's a big number. Um. And like we've shared with you guys, that uh, we had to get a little bit of a, a loan just to finish off. Didn't we? we were just yeah. getting crazy. Yeah. We weren't getting it. We, weren't, we couldn't see how we could do it. So there you go, trials and tribulations. Um. Yeah. I hope the video has been sort of flowing okay uh, because I've had some real tech problems where videos wouldn't play. I think it was because the air was so blue uh, fitting that chlorophyll. The air was blue. I had a nightmare with that. <laughs> a lot of it, some of it we own doing. Yeah, it's an awkward job to do. It's cramped, it's awkward, there's things sticking in your side and all sorts. But I, I, I just didn't follow the instructions. I just did what I thought and chased my tail a little bit there. So there you go. I made it a little bit more difficult than it should have been, but that's that's doing jobs. That's the way it goes sometimes. But hey, who's in? We got hot water. You yeah. didn't boil a kettle this I morning, did no, you? No, not not for washing no, up we anyway. Got, we got hot water. So that will do for today. That's where we are. Um, I hope you found that informative. Uh, it's again, I've not taken you through every step, but it's not an instructional series we said that from the start didn't we mm -hmm. it's more this is all the hoops and stuff you have to jump through to build an ammo boat yeah. not instructions how to do that's not what we're doing so um i hope you found it useful and sort of interesting if not sorry about that <laughs> <laughs> but uh some of the laptops you're playing i don't know why mm. uh right we'll see you next time thanks so much for watching thank you uh hopefully we'll well diesel tank to do is the next time and we, yeah. I don't want. I don't want uh, all the stuff landing. Yeah, it depends on what arrives first, I suppose, doesn't it? Yeah, bathroom to start with, and um, central eating, all that kind of stuff. I have managed to finish painting the walls now in the bathroom. It's had four coats. Yeah, that's uh, that's ready to start. I've got we've got a lot of partition and framing to do in there yet, mm. and uh, what's it called? Shower board and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Is it? So, is that yeah. sort of stuff yet? But uh, everything's, everything's a step forward, as painful as it seems sometimes, and as painful as it is. No. <laughs> everything is a step forward. So, right, we'll see you next time, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Yeah, keep pressing that button and giving us a thumbs up. Give us that like up. and thumbs up. Great. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.